what makes you stand out is you being unique. And how do you become unique? You have to go through experiences that not everyone does. And a lot of the times that experience comes in the face of adversity, which is something that you know a lot about. So let's talk about the adversity, which you've already kind of touched on, but then how you began to turn this into becoming a world champion, if I'm correct. Yeah, so one of the things, once I kind of made this discovery that I'm the conductor of my own symphony of life and I was going to create the music that felt good to me, I wanted to discover who I was. And so I'm trying all different things, you know, wondering if something's going to click. And one of my discoveries was that I was gay. And it's like, great, this is all I need right now when I've got all this other stuff. But I'm like, it's okay you know, I'm finding out about me and that's beautiful and that's great. I got a phone call a couple, maybe a year later from my father and he was bawling on the other end of the phone. And I'm like, oh my God, dad, you know, what's wrong? Are, are, are you dying? Are you sick? And he said, somebody told me you're gay. And so you didn't come out right away and tell your parents. No, tell your so parents. he found out. And he said, somebody told me you're gay. Please tell, I beg you, I beg you, tell me this isn't true. I couldn't possibly have a daughter that's gay. And I said, dad, I'm so sorry, I'm gay, but please, can you love me anyway? And he hung up the phone and I didn't hear from him for the next two years. And that was devastating. You know, it made me feel I'd been highly accomplished regardless of what I've been going through. You know, I went to a good school. I was getting good grades. Yet this made me feel like everything I had achieved up until that point in time meant absolutely nothing now that I was gay. So, but again, life happening, you know, for you, not to you. I believe this happened because it put me on this mission, this mission to prove to myself, most importantly, that even as a gay woman, I can do something that, that is special. I can achieve something that's special. I can inspire people. I can make a difference in this world. And I got on this mission to where I wanted to create something beautiful where I could prove to myself, most importantly, that I mattered. And that's when I discovered the sport of triathlon. And, you know, I, I'm, I don't know if you know the whole story, but basically I, I fell in love with this sport at 23 years old, but I had no idea how to swim. And triathlon is swimming, biking, and running. And I was horrible. My first race, I humiliated myself. I was dead last. It was like a joke. But I had never felt so alive in my entire life in that race. Mm. And when I finished the race, I proclaimed to myself and to my mother that I was going to be the best in the world in this sport. And it was laughable. Like like people, I just came in dead last. I didn't know how to swim. But what I had was this deep emotional reason why I must make this Mm. happen. And that was to find that love for myself, that respect for myself, and to feel, you know, proud and safe and strong in my own skin. So again, like you said earlier, you know, these struggles, these challenges, uh, they can really hurt, but they often will inspire you or propel you or kick you into motion onto that path that is really meant to be your destiny. 